What are the red estates, color red, of the United States? I explored this by calculating their average redness from Landsat satellite data. Details on my methods are below. Here is a map of redness over the lower 48 states. You can see that the west is overall more red than the east. Some water bodies stand out as having little redness, such as Great Salt Lake here. Uh, there is this deep redness in the U.S. southwest region. So if I switch this to regular color imagery, you can still see the, the redness in the southwest region. Um, let's zoom into this area of Utah. Utah is the third most red colored state, and I'll show their, all their rankings at the end of this video. Um, and so you can really see the, the redness in this uh, landscape in and around Canyonlands National Park. This photo shows just how red the rock exposures and soils are around Canyonlands. And it's not just Canyonlands. There's Arches National Park a bit to the north and Capitol Reef a bit to the west. And further south in Utah, there's Bryce National Park and Zion as well. All these amazing places. Uh, let's go back to our map here. And now we're going to zoom diagonally here to the southeast into New Mexico. New Mexico is the second most red colored state in the U.S. It also has some impressive red rock formations, um, but a large reason for New Mexico being so red overall is this large eastern region. Uh, this is part of the southern high plains of the US, so it's relatively low relief. And if we zoom way in here, you can see the uh, very red colored soils. This is a land use disturbance associated with energy restriction see these. Um, most of the superficial materials here were derived from red colored rocks of the Ogallala Formation. All right, let's zoom out again and this time we're going to move to the west to the adjacent state of Arizona. Arizona is the reddest state of the U.S. It has many red areas, such as the Painted Desert region and around the Grand Canyon. But I'm going to zoom in to a particularly red area of Arizona, the area of Sedona. So Sedona is famous for its red rock formations. So this photo is extra red because of the sunset lighting, but you know, in any kind of illumination, you can see how amazing these red rock formations are. And it's not just the rocks. The soils are, are quite red in color as well because of the, all the red rock parent material here. So why are these rocks so red? Um, all the rocks that I've been showing are, are sedimentary rocks, such as uh, sandstone. And the sand grains in these rocks have been coated with iron, which has become oxidized. And iron oxide is also known as the mineral hematite. And so right, mineral hematite, which is um, iron oxide. Uh, this plot shows light reflectance of hematite. And around uh, four microns wavelength is uh, reflectance of blue light. So there's very low reflectance of blue light. Around five microns is uh, green. So also very low reflectance there. And around six is red. And so you can see that the reflectance really takes off for red light, and that's why that mineral hematite looks so red. And we see this regularly as iron oxide is rust, which is reddish in color. So that was 
uh, Sedona. So let's zoom way out again. And let's look at the state rankings of redness. So here you can see the one, two, three of uh, Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah is the three reddest colored states. Um, the west is notably redder than the east, or this pretty clean break here. Uh, and that's because of the types of rocks and, and sparser vegetation cover. Uh, the least red states are way up here in the northeast. And I'll make a separate video about those. Thanks for watching.